And a live picture tonight, the community still drawn to the side of a memorial to remember the victims of Friday morning's movie theater tragedy. A growing number of balloons, flowers, and messages of hope. And people rallying around those 12 families as we hear more amazing stories of survival, friendship, and support. 7 News with team coverage sharing their stories tonight. We begin with 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live in Aurora. Jacqueline, you spoke to one man who actually had to hold a shooting victim's intestines while they were waiting for help. And we've been hearing incredible stories of bravery. I'm live here at this memorial. We have literally dozens of people here, even at this hour, hundreds of candles, balloons. Uh, everyone is remembering uh, the victims, honoring the people who survived. I spoke to several survivors all day today. They all talk about the horrific images they can't get out of their heads now, a contrast to the calm suspect sitting in a quiet courtroom. Still seem like it's a dream. Just discharged from the hospital. It hurts. For Michael White, the healing hasn't really started. Like right behind here. A bullet pierced his back, shattering his shoulder blade, but it's not his pain that haunts him. I'm seeing them, even the ones that, you know, were still still suffering, just the, the moans of pain. The midnight movie was a family tradition for White and his father. They brought along his girlfriend, Farah Sudani, when they heard the hissing of the first gas canister. Like, oh, somebody lost, you know, part of their Batman prop or something like that and you know boom boom then all of a sudden I just feel this pain and you know both Farrah and I drop to the ground and I'm hearing my dad you know off to the side saying get down get down Michael White senior says in the chaos when you see it for real it's not like any movie that you're seeing uh, he saw Sudani had been shot in the side and immediately covered her with his own body so I put my straight on that the whole intestines the whole intestines there so you're literally holding her intestines in? Yes, yes. I could not let him get both of us on it, so I decided that, hey, if he's going to shoot me, let him get me instead of her. But the lights came on and the shooting stopped. To the son, the father is a hero. Second or third time he's actually met Farrah, and yet he's willing to put his own life on the line to protect her. You know, I love that guy. While he can now leave the hospital, he'll soon return visiting Sudani and the other survivors, all starting to heal together. I'm still feeling really angry right now that I can't, you know, put my thoughts into words. And I know he'll get what's coming to him. And he does have months of physical therapy ahead of him now. Sudani is still in critical condition, but he says what's getting them through this right now uh, are the thoughts, prayers, and well wishes from people all over the country, just like what's going on here right now. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.